What's going on Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another bit of a video review and unboxing. Going back to some more Revenge of the Sith, I recently did a video of the holographic Plo Koon and uh, sort of just doing a little bit of hunting for some for some old Revenge of the Sith figures. Uh, it's probably the one part of my collection that is lacking the most uh, figures in terms of you know representation of the of the film. Um, and probably more so just because it was a period of my life where I wasn't collecting as as strongly as I was sort of you know as a child beforehand and then as an adult afterwards I did turn sort of eighteen in the year it, it sort of it came out so. Yeah, you know, certainly life was a bigger distraction for me at that point. But um, this is a set that I've always wanted to grab. Um, and yeah, it'd be, it's definitely, I've got a spot on my shelf with the Return of the Jedi, uh, sorry, Revenge of the Sith, um, where this will definitely take place in that sort of end of the film sort of scene, having it all set up chronologically. Uh, Vader's medical droid there is one I still need to pick up. Um, so yeah, definitely be on the hunt. So it's it's nice to see this. I just did just pick this up on eBay. Uh, got it for a really good price actually. So I'm excited to I'm excited to open this. You know, it's it looks really cool. On the other on the back, some other figures there: the clone trooper with jet backpack, the vulture droid, and the Yoda with cancel. Still like to get one of those. I think I prefer to get the Anakin one from the Clone Wars, but table swivels, which is always nice. And I've always wanted this set. The other reason is I wanted to do the Force Unleashed with the uh, Star Killer Sith sort of photographed on the on the board there on the table. But also this this Vader looks looks cool. We've had so many different Vaders. Um, just reviewed a couple of Black Series releases that have been recent, and um, yeah, definitely want to definitely want to get a few more Vaders, um, particularly ones that I haven't had to represent in certain scenes. I do like that on the side there. Is Anakin as Vader and and Vader as Vader? Rebuild Darth Vader. They should have just got to build Darth Vader because you're not really rebuilding him unless you pull him apart and then you start rebuilding him. Then yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna go straight for it and uh, just use my knife here to uh, open this up. I do I do keep card backs and stuff like that. That's something I've always done. I do have a big box full of card backs. I just always like revisiting, you know, packaging from back in the day. You know, at this point, I feel like I'm really old. <laughs> when Revenge of the Sith is nearly 20 years old, which is just absolutely insane. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Just a cool little piece of history there. So we've got... So what we've got here, we've got the instructions... Tells you what to do. Yeah, that's that's not very exciting. I love getting these little leaflets. These are cool. Always exciting to get these and seeing what else is out there. Given that the uh, internet was still very much in its infancy. Oh boy, we've got some uh, twist ties here. So. challenging not when scissors are concerned there's a couple more down here there's one more up here I'm gonna try and snip them don't miss these ties made everything so much more difficult. I had no idea back then that we'd be trying to do this on film. I think I got that. Yep, I did. Beautiful. All right. Pop that out. I 
let's get the parts out we've got Vader's cape Vader's lightsaber here Vader's chest piece and we've got Vader's helmet so let's move all that out the way Right, see, we have Vader's helmet. Not a bad looking sculpt. That looks pretty good. Vader's cape, probably sort of like a pre-molded thing that it might actually display well on a on another Vader, just to have him sort of in a pose. We do have his lightsaber hilt here. That's not too bad actually, that's pretty decent. And the chest life support system that's here that's sort of simply just okay we're gonna okay so there's a little lever under here which will open those arm braces so that's kind of cool it also stops on the bottom there, stops it from swinging around too much. It will only sort of go back to that sort of horizontal position. And it will lock in there, that's nice, I like that, okay. I was worried it was going to wobble too much, but it will sort of hold in that sort of horizontal position there. Let's take a look at Vader himself. He's kind of got that sort of sticky plastic feel, you know, he's been in there for a long time. May have to give him a hot rinse. He's almost got that sort of sticky, yeah, just old plastic. That's all right. I'll give it a wash and it won't, won't be a big problem at all. Oh, it's interesting, yeah. It's obviously the head sculpt leaves a little to be desired by today's standards, but, you know, it's sort of a very fresh looking head sculpt for burnt up Anakin there. You smell the bacon. So we're going to remove this gloved arm there. Okay. Got his sort of metal hand. I feel like that may have been a different colour. Let's have a look at the packaging here. Yeah, it looks like it may have been a slightly more bronze, bronze look. But just years of it sitting in the in the glove. I'm not not seeing any any uh, colour in there to suggest that, but who knows? Who knows? I may just sort of touch that up with a uh, bronze sharpie. I do have one, so that's all right. This arm looks like it will slide off as well. So we've got the electronic sort of implant there. That's cool. All right, legs. You've got his sort of mechanical pieces there. If we just compare it to this one here, <laughs> it's like a before and after. Let's go. So like a, you know, fresh off the uh, lava floor to a sort of half suited up life support in progress Darth Vader here they're interesting to have these two together I think that's kind of cool honestly I like that this is another one I picked up probably a couple of years ago found it in a in an op shop so uh yeah, let's let's rebuild Darth Vader. We'll pretend he's on the table there. So what I'm going to do? See how easy it is to sort of just slot him in there. Not that easy when you try and do it with one hand. So you have him. You 
start with this. I almost, I'm almost tempted to have, have that on there like that, but display them like that, that would be kind of cool. No, I think having a Vader sort of standing up, having the, having the Emperor sort of standing next to him would look cool. So I'll probably end up doing that. All right, let's build Darth Vader again. We'll start with his, his boot there. Obviously articulation is going to be limited on this guy, but if you include these sort of swivels as the boots go in, it does have movement of the legs, arms, waist, head, and once the gloves are on, sort of wrist articulation I suppose, this big chunky, chunky fist here. Of Darth Chunky Fist. We'll put this little chest box in. Just want to make sure that's not going to fall out. Looks looks okay. Seems to want to stay there. And the helmet fits on. So we have a reasonable looking Darth Vader. Obviously, you know, years gone by, we have up many fantastic updates. I actually do like the mold of the cape. I think that looks really cool. Um, and that would look good on a, you know, a nice poseable Vader perhaps. And there was a three and three quarter inch Darth Vader that came out in the black series when that first sort of started around 2013, 2014, um, which is based on Revenge of the Sith. Um, and that hasn't had a re-release since. I do have that Vader, so maybe he could be a stand-in for this particular figure if I was to display him sort of in parts. I could have that solid, full, full-blown Vader standing nearby. But... Yeah, really, really happy to have this set. Honestly, looks cool. I do have a Palpatine ready to, ready to stand by. And watch as Vader comes more machine than man, twisted and evil. I'm digging it guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think. This guy can just sort of hang out as well. <laughs> hang the cape on the side there. No, I'm, I'm happy to have this as part of the collection now, obviously it's, it's a nice one. The helmet to sort of come down. Definitely gonna have to get that, uh, I think they actually called it a chopper droid. The, where was he? Vader's medical droid sold separately. Um, that's cool. Yeah, definitely gonna definitely gonna track him down. It makes a nice and makes for a nice diorama to be honest. It looks good. Just checking out the bottom, yeah, 2005. And some detail on the back, which is nice. A cool, cool little piece for the collection. Definitely happy to have this one. Hope you've enjoyed uh, checking out a bit of an old school. It just still depresses me that, uh, you know, Revenge of the Sith is old school. It still feels so, so new and fresh. And some connecting parts here, that's interesting. Some parts there, maybe the chopper droid has a base. I'm going to do some research. And if there is a way to build on this, I'm going to absolutely do it. So it even looks like there's some joining parts on the back. Maybe that's just an aesthetic choice. But yeah, definitely gonna look into look into what else is sort of around in the Revenge of the Sith.
playset sort of diorama thing like this. I reckon it looks great. All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it big time. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.